welcome. My name is Todd from Alarm Home Systems, and today I'm going to step you through the process of setting up the Video Over IP control module. The first thing we need to do before we get started, though, is we need to download the latest control firmware and PC control software from the Alarm website. Now, to do this, we simply go to the dealer portal, select the Alarm Dealer Resources tab, then from within the Dealer Resources section of our website, Browse down and find the video over IP software. Now the two versions of software we need to download currently is our firmware and also our configuration wizard. So we just click on those to download them. Once we have downloaded the software, we now need to enable the TFTP client and Telnet clients on your PC. To do this, we need to go to the control panel of your PC, select programs, then select Programs and Features, and then select the Turn Windows Features on, an on or Off option. In doing this, this is going to list a whole range of Windows features and gives you the ability to enable and disable them. So if you scroll down the list, you'll find two options here that we need to enable, and that's the Telnet Client and the TFTP Client options. By default, this LAN control module ships with a static IP address of 192.168.1.253. If the network your control module will be running on uses a different IP range, then you'll need to change this during the firmware update process of the control port. To do this, we first need to set the LAN port of your PC to 192.168.1.2 by connecting your PC directly to the control port of your control module via Ethernet and then going into Control Panel, selecting Network and Internet, then selecting Network and Sharing Options, and then selecting the Ethernet port that you wish to use. From here, we select Properties, scroll down to the IP Protocol version 4, and set the PC to a static IP address and dial in 192.168.1.2 with a subnet mask of 255.255.00 and a default gateway of 192.168.1.1 and select OK. Once the LAN port of our PC is set to 192.168.1.2, we now have to launch the LAN Video Over IP Configuration Wizard software that we downloaded earlier. This software will enable you to set up and control the Video Over IP solution from your PC. So on launching the configuration software, what we need to do is now go down to the control port tab at the bottom of the list. Once we do that, we select Open and browse to the firmware that we downloaded earlier today. Now we need to dial in the IP address of the system. So by default, the IP address of this system is 192.168.1.253. And also underneath your controller, there's a, two stickers. You need to get the MAC ID of the control port and then dial those details in into this box here. And then you set the IP address for your new, um, for the network that the control module is going to sit on. Then we hit start. Now it takes up to 30 seconds for the transfer to, to complete. And once the, the firmware has been updated on the control module, you'll get a message on the screen saying that the transfer was successful and you'll have your bytes in uh, bytes listing and everything on the screen. Now, if this doesn't pop up, you get a, a transfer successful message pop up instantly, then that generally means the software hasn't, uh, the firmware hasn't been updated and you'll need to try the process again.
Once the firmware and IP address are set up on our control module, we now need to set this control module up with our LAN system from within the configurator. This concludes today's video integration note, and thank you for watching.